This installation was really fun. Uh, we got up very early in the morning, uh, almost racing with the sunrise. Installation days started with the printers and installers taking out huge rolls and us unfurling them across the ground, laying them out to make sure they were correctly aligned and would match the next sheet over because everything had to match. And then pulling off the back just like you would a sticker and rolling it down. We had special rollers and scrapers and almost mop-like um, equipment so that it would adhere to the ground. It was also really interesting to install with the public watching us. So there's some great food trucks at Greensboro Green and lots of traffic at Walmart. Um, but it was really great for them to see, for the community to witness the project as it was being installed, um, almost taking out a little bit of the myth of how art installations are made. In addition to the pins as well as the floor murals, the data was also used to light the Silver Line building. So each face of the building represents um, a different side of the cube. My work is really about demonstrating the individual within the collective. This project illustrates that. Every single person's data, three aspects of their own information, is kept together within a community. I really invite the community to come and do a data analysis because that's essentially what the mural is. It's a picture of who the community is today and a sample of all the different groups that make up Tyson's. The tiles are also really fun and they're interactive and they engage play. In my mind, a project is a success when I can step away and someone I don't know comes and really enjoys the work and takes the time to explore it and also to then bring back friends, family, community members to the site and also share their enjoyment.